Hello folks and professionals. Hi, welcome back. Another important session. Today we see automatic delivery picking for delivery quantity, either S4 HANA or ECC, wherever you would like to try. Okay. So let's try to check this one. First, we will see. Let's go to the let's quickly go to the SAP now. Okay. Let me try to show you. This is my sales document type. And uh, let's take this material. Okay. So let's save this. So this is the order got created. Now let's try to create a delivery now. Now if you see this delivery quantity is one and a picking quantity is blank actually. So if you'd like to do automatically like you know there should be some configuration settings required on save it will work or else you can schedule a background job in real time for automatic picking let's save this first okay now go to vl01 vl02 n okay now if you look at here there is no automatic picking quantity let's see let's learn the configuration behind in it okay so before that, I would like to tell you. So these are the different SAP courses available at my end. For example, if you see, if you have some doubts, SAP SD pricing, okay, it is eight hours course. It is extens extensively driven, okay. If you'd like to learn complete SAP SD, eight point five hours. This is one of the. These are the two top courses with that you can able to cover almost ninety eight percent of your SD. Okay, so recently I have introduced one more course, shipment learning with transportation for SAP SD logistics. Here I have taken one direct leg, all SD configurations done. So shipment cost document, uh, there is something called transfer to MM. From there I got a little problem, otherwise everything is fine. So in this I have added uh, shipment relevant uh, configurations also. I have few other concepts like, you know, if you'd like to learn advanced expert, uh, Pricing concepts apart from regular pricing codes and business processes, ECC stock transfers and rebates. So if you are not introduced to SAP uh, real time, you take this course to write a, how to write a how to understand business requirement, how to write a functional specification. So SAP S4 HANA simple logistics BP concept. This is for S4 HANA like that. You know, few other set of courses available at my end. I'm just dropping these links below of this video. You can take this an opportunity to uh, learn yourself. Okay, let's quickly see this. What are all the configurations we have? Okay, before that, let me show you the next slide. See, this is the place where actually, you know, V slash 38, the output uh, type is available. That is called EK00. Okay, so it is at shipping point level, it is going to determine. So, transaction, you take. Uh, VP01 SHP for to maintain a print parameters. So all these are the steps, and you have to you you have this path, and this is the transaction where. So first you have to check this one. Okay, in how standard it is available. Let me show you that one. And after that you have to take these two steps. Then automatic picking will happen on save. Okay, I will show you what exactly it is. So let's come here. Uh, now go to the first transaction. So, okay, you see this subsystem pick list and pick list. You go to EK000, there you can able to see the definition, right? So, what, uh, so based on ship to party, it will be defined, um, uh, you know, driven, and it is basically for you know, your printout and storage and all those stuff, okay? If you can able to see the processing routines. SD underscore pick underscore single. So this is the program like, you know, three or four kind of programs will be there. So either smart form or PDF, you can able to see the pick list. Okay. So, you know, let's see automatic picking, whether it happens or not, future will see the form. Okay. So now go to the, what is the transaction? First you go this transaction. Okay. Here you see this shipping. See you, you can able to see this. VP01 SHP, this transaction, you go to the picking list, 
so just copy existing one no issues or else you can create it also let's give or try to give your uh, shipping point okay my shipping point is ung1 gate1 okay so i'm saving this if you want immediately you can tick this mark that is a different story so let's go to another transaction okay oltp either you can directly maintain uh, uh, here uh, uh, sorry so, sorry ovlt either you can able to directly maintain here for your shipping point print settings or else you can able to so ung1 is my shipping point so i'm just uh, this is the output type language either take e english or dn so 01 okay on save i required send immediately okay medium is one print out so this is sufficient let's save this all these are the settings now let's try to create a sales order now okay press enter so let's save this sales order ends with uh, 95 let's come here press enter now see nothing is available on save i am requesting my system on save it need to trigger output okay what is the output if you go to extras picking output nothing is available on save only it will trigger okay so let's come here let's save this okay now go to vl02n okay press enter now see picking quantity is automatically picking okay so now if you go to extras picking your output is triggered this is how you can able to do it so you can try this the same formula will be applicable if you take uh, multiple materials also i'm taking the same material for example to show this one okay let's take two okay three like that no issues so open quotations are there that's why you are getting this one so now let's go to vl 01 and press enter now see picking no picking right let's save this on save it trigger see now picking is automatically filled previously it was blank so like you know see if you have set of materials like you know 10 50 materials to share one step we can able to take the automatic picking determination okay so standard also something is possible people are writing in blogs and everywhere like you know uh, automatic uh, picking won't be available you have to write exit not required you can suggest to your client in standard also okay that's all for today i think uh, you have learned uh, learned something productive okay if you are not yet subscribed you can subscribe my channel and uh, to get more further learning and uh, so like you know you can utilize this an opportunity this is a new course and i have few set of courses available i'm providing these links you can subscribe and you can enhance your knowledge mm, that's all for today thank you very much have a great time jai hind